When making a Punnett square, the first thing you have to do is draw a 2x2 two two grid if you're looking at one trait. In this case, we're looking at the height of P plants. And I've already shown that capital T represents a tall height, so that's the dominant trait. Lowercase t represents a short height, which is the recessive trait. The mom is tall because she has a dominant and recessive trait, and the dad is also tall because he has a dominant and recessive trait. This is called heterozygous. So first we put one of the parents' alleles across the top of our Punnett square. This is the dad's heterozygous genes. And then we can put the mom across the side. She's also heterozygous, like I said before. You want to bring the traits from the top down into the boxes below them. And the traits across the side to the right, to the boxes to the right of them. In this way, we've distributed all the traits from the mom and the dad to the offspring. Now we have our four possible offspring genotypes, except it's actually really two, and I'll show you why. Here, sorry, it's actually only three, and I'll show you why. Here is the homozygous dominant offspring option, which has two capital letters, and this offspring will be tall. Here we have the two heterozygous offspring options, and both of those offspring will be tall because they both have a dominant trait. And then lastly, we have the homozygous recessive offspring option, and this will be our only short offspring. So now we can record the pheno and genotypes of each of the offspring options. Here I've shortened phenotype to pheno and genotype to geno. The phenotypes mean the physical trait that you see. So in this case, we have the phenotype of tall and the phenotype of short. Our tall offspring, I will put the check in the box for, and our short offspring I will underline. Now genotypes represent the different combinations of genes. So in this case, our homozygous dominant genotype, two capital T's, which I circled with a red circle already. Our heterozygous genotype, I've already circled with green, and that's the capital letter and the lowercase letter. And then our homozygous recessive genotype is the orange circle. So here we only have two genotype, phenotype options and three genotype options. If you're at this point, you can then do phenotypic and genotypic ratios. Otherwise, this is a good place to stop.